You are welcome to today's video lesson with Bright Edo. In today's lesson, I'll be answering various chemistry questions that cut across different topics in chemistry. So here is the first question, which says, the electronic configuration of an element is, so this is the electronic configuration. Okay, they've given us already the electronic configuration of this element that is unknown. Now, the question now says, how many unpaired electrons are there in the element? So they're now asking us to get the numbers of unpaired electrons that are found in this element with the electronic configuration of this. So you can see from the word electronic, I can bring out some from it. And what is that? Electrons. So we are trying to know which of the early, uh, 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 how many unpaired electrons were there? are found in this particular element with this electronic configuration. Now, before we solve this question, we have to take note of something very important because it's going to help us solve this question without stress. And what is that? I'm going to write out the orbitals that must be noted. Now, we have various orbitals in chemistry and they are the S orbital, the p orbital the d orbital the f orbital though we have other orbitals but for the level of these exams this orbital must be noted the s orbital the p orbital the d orbital and the f orbital all these orbitals have their respective maximum number of electrons they occupy and also they have their respective number of boxes because knowing this is going to help us solve this question without stress now what are the maximum number of electrons that will fill this orbital okay maximum number of electron in these orbitals it must be noted for the s orbital the maximum number of electron it contains is two electron while for the p orbital the maximum number of electron it contains is six electrons do you get so if you observe between six and two what's the difference it is four so here what becomes the maximum number of electron it can on uh, or it can take is going to be what 10 electron while for the f orbital the maximum number of electron it occupies what 14 electrons and all these orbitals have their respective number of boxes now this must be noted for the number of boxes or number of degenerate, I'm just using the word number of boxes, so it's going to be easy for you to understand, okay? But basically, it's called degenerate, the number of degenerate. Now, it must be noted here that for the S orbital, the number of box, it contains just one. So, anytime we are talking about the S orbital, we're going to draw how many box? One box. And this box being drawn here, it occupies a maximum number of two electrons this is going to help us to solve this question you have to take note of what i'm saying now where for the p orbital the maximum number of boxes it carries or occupies is, is three boxes is what three boxes one two and three so if this six electron is to fill these boxes i said each of the box takes a maximum number of what two so if two comes here two comes here two comes here two two that's four and another two that's six do you get so this must be noted so i believe you can guess the number of box that will occupy that the d orbital will occupy what is the number it's going to be five boxes actually so one one two three four and five okay let's just say this where for the f orbital the number of boxes is going to occupy seven maximum number of box it can or uh, it basically or uh, generate is seven boxes okay uh one two three four five six uh seven now let's count one two three four five six seven do you get because here is seven boxes and how many electrons does the f orbital contain 14 so if two 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 is to fill we're going to get uh 14 electron okay that's two four six eight ten twelve and what fourteen do you get because I said that each of the box takes a maximum number of I mean electron, two electrons. So the point here is this: how do we solve this question? So much very easy. Now the question says: how many unpaired electrons are there in this particular element? So for we to answer this question, we have to look at the electronic configuration given in the question. And this is the electronic configuration, which is what? 1s2, 2s2. 2p6, 3s2, and 3p3. Now, for we to answer this question, we'll take note of the last orbital. 
this must be noted and what's the last orbital it is the 3p3 orbital do you get so moving further which orbital the, the this uh, last orbital fell, fell under it is the p orbital it is what the p orbital you can see it here p now for the p orbital as earlier said how many boxes do we draw for the p orbital how many it is three boxes one two and what three okay one two and three boxes and we already know the maximum number of electrons that will occupy the p orbital was that six but according to the question how many elect now to solve this question we don't really take note of this three at the front of the p or at the front of any of the orbital if you see questions like this in your exam you really don't take note of this what you're interested in is the number that is that is up and this number signifies the electron numbers do you get so here now how many electron uh, uh electrons can we find in this p orbital there are three and basically according to a rule in chemistry called Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity it says when filling orbital we have to fill them singly first before pairing takes place so we are having three so let's fill them singly and one of the electron the electrons to denote them is using this arrow okay so one electron two electron and three electrons so according to the question we have succeeded we have succeeded in writing out all the electrons according to this last orbital because i said that to determine the number of unpaired electrons you have to look at the last orbital and bring it out okay when you bring it out you are seeing what we are getting so are we not done feeling it yes because yes three and here we, 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 we've already filled in the three electrons that is found in the 3p orbital so the point here is this since we are done how many unpaired electrons can you see because normally if it's supposed to be paid another one come down but since now we are having already three electrons and we filled in the three electrons how many unpaired electrons can you see it's telling us here that all the electrons are unpaired none of them is paired so how many electrons are unpaired here there are three one two and three so option c is the answer three unpaired electrons so you can see how questions like this are being solved without stress okay guys so with the explanation to this question written on the board i'm going to give you yours to practice and provide the answer in the comment section whereby your own you will be solving i'm going to increase the 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 number of electrons in the 3p orbital let's say here was four let's say here was 3p4 let me see what your answer will be it's so much very easy and if you want to know how this question can be solved do well to click the subscribe button and also share these lessons with your friends so that i'm going to solve this question in my next video thanks for watching